Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Today we are solving the uh, find the cell row and column solution. This is actually a really fun one. You will use your row reference and your column reference a ton in VBA. So we're going to go ahead and dig in. I'll show you how this is done. So what you want to do is you want to do a sub. We're going to go find RW. I always use RW and CL uh, as my variables. Um, and actually, this is really fairly simple. Um, the The area that is highlighted or in the black box here, that's called the selection. So we're going to go selection dot row. Okay, now we need to send that to a variable. And like I said, I use RW for row. And we're, I use CL for column. Um, and those are just variables that I use. And all a variable is is just a holder. It's a placeholder. Um, in this case, it's going to hold the row number and um, the column number. So let's see if this works. So we're going to go F8, F8 again. It's going to give me row 5, which is correct. The column should return row 3, and we're going to end sub. Now, we have those two variables. Now we've got to figure out what to do with them. Um, now, there's a lot of things that we could do. We could actually put those back in the in that cell. Um, so let's let's do a couple. So we're gonna go we're gonna go cells rw comma cl is equal to rw, and then we're gonna tie we're gonna make a string here. We're gonna go that that and cl. Okay. So that's just that's one little solution here. Um, and what that does is it basically in that in that selected cell that we're in, oh, it gives me a date. That's funny because it would be 5-3, which would be, ha, huh, that's that's really funny. So, because that's today's date, or actually a couple days ago. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to format this. We're going to make a little learning here on the fly here. Uh, format's not going to work. Hmm, that's really interesting. We're going. What we're going to do is we're going to put a tick mark in front of that, a single quote. That'll actually solve the issue, um, and it gives us five three. So that's one way to do it. If you if we wanted to put it in a message box, we could do this. So let's do it one other way. M SG box. We actually just got done doing a bunch of videos on message boxes. So your row is, and then we do and RW. And then I'm going to show you something here. We're going to do uh, VBLF. Um, and what that is, is that's v Visual Basic Line Feed, which means that this next section is going to um, show up on a, um, on a new line. And column is and CL. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to end that. We're going to do comma VB, VB OK only. Then we're going to do uh, cell ref, cell reference. We're going to hit enter. We're going to go ahead and stop this, and hopefully this thing works. So I'm going to run F5. Oh, i got to be in, in my code area. If you're ever in here and you hit F5, that's just a go-to thing. So if I wanted to go to A1, it'll take me to A1. You'll, you'll run into that a lot. Okay, so F1 here. Uh, we are in 1-1. One, one. Now if we come over here. Oh, i got to link this button, don't I? Okay, so let's assign a macro. Okay, so now if I just click on that, it's going to give me the row, the column. Notice that VBLF kicks it down to the next line. Um, and that's, that's the solution. Hope you enjoyed.
thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA.